Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my beautiful viewers. God bless all of you. God be with you in the name of Jesus. Um it's like this is a season of uh, turbulence for uh, prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufeni. Uh, just a few days ago, uh, a certain bishop, Ufoma Prince, came out and allegedly named him amongst the pastors he has worked for. The guy that claimed that he has killed about um, seven persons. Um, he named Jeremiah, even though he didn't mention his name, but he said he worked for Mercy Land. I'm still working on that man's, uh, you know, uh, story. Uh, I will still bring you updates as, um, as 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 everything unfolds. And just, um, you know, a few days, uh, about three days ago, Kasi, Apostle Kasi Shuku, um, came out too to expose the lies of Prophet Jeremiah. Omoto Fufeni. And guess what? Just uh, recently, a former daughter, spiritual daughter of Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufeni has really, really drawn a battle line against the man. Now, let me just uh, lay a foundation here. Oh, okay, I should let you watch the video. There is something I'd like you to understand. There are few that didn't start today. You know, this is not just something that started today, but the lady seemed to have woken up and has decided that he is going to uh, deal with uh, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufeni. The, the people said, we will not eat until they will kill Paul. What Paul has done to you? This girl came to, to Mercy City. Look at her. Look at the girl. She came to Mercy City and she now... This girl you have seen there, she came to Mercy City with nothing, empty, nothing. Five covers she don't get, one naira she don't get. Suffering, right in Portacourt. I don't know what happened. She came here, she said, she said, she had a voice that, that uh, she should open a church. I get it. From what I discovered, the lady was formerly a member of Christ Mercy Land Ministry, that of Prophet Jeremiah Omotofufei, and uh, seemed to be a pastor under that ministry. I'm not so sure about that now. All right, but what I can conveniently say is that there was actually a time that they had a very good relationship, and I guess that there was a time the lady seems to be managing one of the branches of the church of... Um, Prophet Jeremiah in Port Harcourt, as this video here suggests. God of Jeremiah, make you do for me. I need a miracle. I need a miracle. Daddy, I need a miracle. Give me my miracle. I see you for me. Make you do for me. I see God of Jeremiah. So, judging from the video uh, that you have seen, even the 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 gown, the, the robe she is putting in, on in this video, and also the logo on the screen is the logo of Messiland uh, Deliverance Ministry. All right. Uh, so, I think that she was a pastor under Jeremiah Omoto Fufei. But I, it's like along the line, the relationship got soured. Now, I do not know if it got soured before this point or at this point of expansion. Because um, she, in another video that she made, was claiming against Jeremiah's claim that he gave her money. She was saying that Jeremiah did not contribute one naira to her ministry. And there are actually proof that Jeremiah did give her money. A daughter for Potakot, come here. 
one million. But from what Jeremiah said, that the girl came to her to the church without one cover. And eventually the video that he displayed of the girl, of the lady, um, was a video where she was in her store. I think that was a, a business place where she was doing business maybe before she was called. You know, because her own story of how she started, she didn't tell the story of a person that started big. I wouldn't know when the one million naira was given, but in spite of that, one million naira should afford her to start, should have afforded her to start her ministry when she started in a big way. So now here is the video of um, of the, the video that Cassie posted. The, the people said, we will not eat until they will kill Paul. What Paul has done to you? This girl came to, to Mercy City. Look at her. Look at the girl. She came to Mercy City and she now, this girl you have seen there, she came to Mercy City with nothing. Empty. Nothing. Five covers she don't get. One naira she don't get. Suffering right in Port Harcourt. I don't know what happened. She came here. She said. She said. She had a voice. That. That. Uh, she should open a church. I get that. The man of God. That's the man of God. That's the man of God. That's the man of God. I'm preparing to come up on social media. Everything. I'm preparing to come up on social media. I'm not afraid of any man. Your money cannot silence my voice. They said I've taken everything. I'm leaving Ole Konko. I will play it on air. I'm preparing it. The month of February, I'm going out for outreach and I will show it to the whole world. Where I start from, how I start. Jeremiah do not give me a bag of cement to build a house. He do not buy one piece of block to build a house. They ca he came to claim what? That he do not lay the foundation. Okay. And I left she, it to she not have your mind. I don't know what you mean, sir. Like me, I was a member like you. I did not know what was going on. I'm not a bomb minister. Yes, what people? <laughs> well, permit me to digress a bit to talk about what Cassie is doing or was doing in that video. You see that he happened to be in the mood of celebration. Um, the woman in question, you know, have said, has said that Jeremiah did not give her one cover and I've shown you the video where Jeremiah actually gave, gave her one million naira. But like I said, I wouldn't know if that one million naira was for her business or for the ministry. Now she said, according to the video you listened to, that they said she took everything and left Kumkum. Kumkum means empty barrel, empty, empty can, empty container. You know, that may suggest that she left the church where she was under Jeremiah and started her own ministry. I will still play you the video where she. She was giving testimony of how she began and i said that if that was how she began she didn't actually begin big now but um my concern here is going back to cassie there uh, some of you who are not even christians will not see what is wrong in these things that is happening or the things that they are doing i am very very concerned because i know that um in the olden days these things will not be here uh, Apostle Cassie is celebrating and would actually want Jeremiah to have bigger problems. Now, because he has not been able to come to terms with the humiliation, the, the arrest that Jeremiah gave, uh, you know, a, a deed to him. Uh, talking of arrest, this lady also was arrested uh, purportedly by Jeremiah. You know, Jeremiah seemed to have mastered the art of arresting people and humiliating them and intimidating them with police, just like Suleiman would do. 
And as I was saying that this is strange in the house of God. It is becoming uh, worse than the political parties. It is worse than politics. Politicians will <laughs> disagree in the public just to deceive the masses. But behind, they have you know, a meeting point. But these people are so terrible, they would even want evil thing to happen to a particular pastor that they consider to be a threat. And that, I think, was the the brain behind that fake confession. I still stand that that confession is fake, but we're not talking about that. So Cassie is celebrating this, having heard from this woman, and I'm sure that he probably have not seen that video of where Jeremiah gave her one million. But like I said, I don't know if the one million was for the ministry or for business. If it was for business, then the lady might be right to say that Jeremiah did not contribute anything to her ministry because i know that there are some some ministries that they will just you know maybe what they will help you do is to rent a shop for you and then ask you to go there and prove your your ministry some wouldn't even do anything for you just that lessons of the papa then you go with it and then struggle if you struggle and die good if you succeed then they will come back to uh, begin to talk of um, percentage you know so this is a concern to me that the pastors who are supposed to be agents of peace where there is hatred they will bring love where there is crisis they are supposed to bring solution where there is dryness they are supposed to bring moisture now these are the people that are fighting and killing themselves over nothing it is a big problem it is a big problem and it is a huge concern for me um as a Christian and as a child of God. Then from here, I just want to, you know, um, play to you the video of how she said she started her ministry. When I give this lady suspension, God appeared to me eat me. Go and tell my daughter to call this lady fast before she the work take her for me. There are people that God has already prepared in heaven. The day you came, the demons in your family know that you are coming for this mission. They will start from that day to fight your grace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So you come to church, free your mind. She is not better than us. She is not righteous than even me. Well, if you're watching this video with me, you will notice that even this testimony that she's given is also in a messy land uh, branch. So I guess that she was a pastor here. She was a pastor in this place. So the bone of contention now is what went wrong. Uh, because I will still play you a video of when she talked about how many months she was locked up uh, by whoever arrested her. But I know that Jeremiah last year arrested her and she also sued Jeremiah for 100 million naira, uh, what she called uh, damages for defamation. And a few days, a few weeks after that, she got arrested, and that was purported to be by Jeremiah. So open your hearts. What can this do to give me a message? The Bible says, the address is right. A that the laborers have come. Mm. The address is what? Right. That the laborers are what? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I make my woman, let me carry their pillow, dollar two. No matter how mommy, line up, Jeremiah, begin. Is that there? Hey, see this woman? I make her carry her pillow. Line, line. She go correct you now now. What ten part? Now now she correct you now now she go come back. It go change up for you. Ah, oh, I don't know what you call. Check. Okay. Okay. These are the women when we started at the filling station at table at the side that are still with me till today. Mommy Doris, Galat Mama, Mommy Epi, Eeeh! 
Mami Pierre. Karatsu Mama. Temple Reis Noja, si bravo. Mami Esta. Weta, weta. We started in Philly Station for the Temple to get on the field. Karatsu Mumi. Philly Station Mumi. Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Today all of you are here happy, happy. And this one will start with me. When I was coming, I don't get money. They can't follow. Every day, when I reach my store, I will follow Police Street. From Police Street, I go down, and then I follow straight road. So that the person don't ask me where to go. Chai, I go to Yanzu. From Yanzu, I never see more than that. After church, our offering was six hundred and fifty naira only. Chai. You get one lady when no tell ya, she be tell her. She go complain, I'll carry the money, give her. Chai. Me, I don't get food at all. I'll go reach mana for my store corner, give me peace to come. Hey! I'll carry that peace, go cook with my children. So from her um, testimony, it is quite obvious that her beginning was very, very rough. Um, but then here she is today, and uh, like I said, I will. If I have more information on this, I will let you know. But the reason I'm doing this is that there ought not to be all these things, you know. I remember that time in the Bible that even members were trying to instigate Paul against Apollos and Apollos against Paul, and Paul said, These things are not necessary. I have. I have planted and Apollos watered, and God gave the increase. And exactly, if anybody wants to come out from any ministry, I don't see the reasons why there should be problem over that. I want to go on my own. And you know, many will come and say, God told them to leave. And the reason, I, I, me, I'm always surprised because uh, any general overseer today came out from somewhere and when he was going he told his general overseer then that God said I should go but today I'm not really talking about uh, Jeremiah now but today you see many general overseers are reluctant to let um, pastors under them go who said God also told them you see but mind you that this is not an excuse for thieves that want to go they want to go with um, you know, the, the property of the church where they served, they want to go, they want to steal members and all that. You know, it is because it has become a business venture, it is no longer a ministry, it is no longer service. Because if it is service, if the Lord is asking me to go, if the Lord is calling me out and say, separate me, Barnabas and Paul, for the work which I have called them. Paul and Barnabas had no reason to be afraid, you know, I, yeah, they had no reason to steal from the apostles. They went and the Lord supported their ministry. So I'm not making case for thieves who would want to, you know, live with um, animosity that want to live, you know, with betrayal. I'm actually speaking on both sides, you know, uh, that Christianity is being, um, is, is being, is being messed up. So sometimes you wonder how come a relationship like this could suddenly go so bad, so, so bad, to the point that one would be arrested and kept in the cell for three months. Relationships just like this one, father and daughter relationship. Wow. We are all divinely hurt, exactly. They thought if they arrest me to go and drop me in one place for three months, everybody will run. But you see, the more they get, the more people come together. Mm. Wow. What is the profit? They say we are ministers, but we want to scatter the flocks. 
David said, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. When the Lord is your shepherd, you do not hate the flocks. Well, I will be stopping it here. I want to read your comments. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? Uh, I'll call it nonsense that is happening in the... Well, I know that these people are, most of them, some of them are not actually for Christ. It is a business venture. But even some of those that we we say they are, they are preaching and they are doing the right thing and they are, um, they are preaching holiness and righteousness. Some of them, few number of them too, find it difficult to actually let go when it is time. I really don't know what you think of this, but let me read your comments in the comment section. God bless you. And may the good Lord preserve you, preserve all of you. And for those that love what we are doing, God bless you. I'll be seeing you in the next video shortly. Till then, from me to you, Shalom.